Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven. Today's tutorial is going to be on keyframe animations using Flash. So let's start off using a, uh, creating a new ActionScript 2 document. And I'll just keep it on 12 frames per second. And we'll start off by, let me change this to nothing, making a oval tool, or oval. Hold on shift so it's perfectly circle. Select it, bring it over to here and let's create uh, convert it to a symbol so we'll name it whatever just ball that's fine and pretty much the only key you need to know is F6 which is create new keyframe so we're gonna select this ball click F6 as you can see it created a new keyframe there and I'm gonna hold down shift drag to the right and okay F6 again Hold down shift, drag to the right, F6, same thing, but I'm going to click to the right twice. And then one more, I'm going to go twice to the right, down one. So twice to the right, down two now. And this is very useful. This is onion skinning, which means it will show the previous keyframes and you can adjust how many keyframes it shows by sliding this over so I'll keep it about there so you can see so far we have it going straight and then like it falls off a cliff so I'm gonna select this again F6 and we'll go down two three over two or over one F6 again we'll go down two over one F6 again and I'm going to scale it so it looks like the ball is going to squish. So I'm going to hold down Alt and scale so it only scales the top instead of both sides. So hold down Alt, drag down. So let's F6 again. And I'm going to hold down Alt and drag up. Okay. So F6 again. And we'll just start bringing it over again. That's boring task. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's just start having it come off to the side. Okay. And now we can click Control Enter, and you will see what it looks like. It's very choppy, but you can add, you know, don't have the ball go as far to the right at e on each keyframe. So if I wasn't holding on Shift, if I just continued clicking it once to the side or something like that, it would look much smoother. You can also change the keyframes to, let's try 16, see what that looks like. A little bit smoother. Alright, so just to make this more pleasing, let's make a new layer. And let's see. Let's turn on, let's move this onion skin over more. And I'm just gonna draw a, a, oops, let's change this color. And I'm just gonna draw a base here. <laughs> we'll give it a support. And then let's slide over to this bottom part. give it some support and then let's just be cool and draw in a, a cone <laughs> alright now <laughs> let's watch that again very cool alright that's it for now that's just the basics of keyframing uh, it doesn't there's not much more that you need to know. It's just, you know, trial and error. You can learn how many keyframes you need or how much you need to move an object for each keyframe to make it look look perfect and smooth. So I hope that helped you and see you next time.